Uh. Oh, Richie got him. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, what's up guys? It's Daniel and DJ from Arms Family Homestead and we are, well, where are we? We are in, uh, where are we right now? Well, but... I was going for the state. Oh, I was state. going for the state. That's all that matters to DJ. Yeah, we're, we're in we're Florida. In a, we're in a Sorry. Floridian state of mind still. Yes. <laughs> Outside of Tampa, we've actually been here before. So today we are bow fishing with a bunch of friends of ours from Oklahoma and uh, we're out with... Twisted Limbs Bow Fishing. This is Travis Lamfar. We've actually, this has been like four years yeah, since we Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a while. Travis? Uh, it's been five years. It was 2017. Five years. So yeah. we've been bow fishing down here with Travis before. He's upgraded boats. He's got, uh, it's actually your brother-in-law, right? That's my brother. Oh, it's brother. your brother. Okay. His brother's the captain on the other boat. So there's four couples, no kids. It's just an adult's bow fishing trip tonight. And uh, DJ and I are the only two that have ever been bow fishing here, I think. Yeah. Nobody else has shot a fish. Nope. I'm hoping so. to see another flight of uh, heat of stingray again. Fever. Fever. <laughs> it's a fever. Oh, yeah. my gosh. DJ gets wound up when the stingrays come by. Yeah. But hopefully we're going to shoot a bunch of fish tonight and uh, have a lot of fun. No kids today. Yes. Here shooting these sheep heads. They sit still. Your first shot you'll miss. You'll try to hurry and load it and not pay attention. That thing's down. Your next shot will be all right, except for this will hit. And it'll take a nose dive and mess the fish again. Pretty close. All right. Not that it's a competition, but I hope we shoot more fish than you. Y'all might, might shoot no more fish than us, but we'll shoot more fish. Than you. Trash talkers. Yeah, always. <laughs> they don't know. We got the experts over here. So uh, tell everybody the real reason we're in Tampa. So the real reason is because it's gonna be mine and Carrie's 40th birthday. And so we came down here just for an adult's trip and go to go to Anna Maria Island and to come do this. So for your 40th birthday, you chose to go bow fishing. I did, yes. Your and 40th birthday is friend. not until the end of August though. Yes, but this is- So whose birthday is on this trip? Oh, jeez. <laughs> so uh, Carrie, uh, a good friend of ours is on the other boat and Mitch is on the other boat, but it's Carrie and DJ's 40th birthday this year. Yeah. However, it's not for like a month. Well, Carrie's is at the end of this month and then mine's the end of next month. But by the time it's my birthday, everyone's back at work and summer's over and yeah. so this is the only time we can do it. So this trip is actually Mitch's birthday and then the next day is my birthday. Mitch's birthday is what, Tuesday? Yes. And mine's Wednesday. Yes. So, not yeah. 40 though. I'm yeah. not 40. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, nice shot. No, he's oh, not off. What is it? Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's, what I'm about. <laughs> That's a good one. That is nice. First fish in the boat. Big sheep's head. I, I shot the first fish, technically. Technically. <laughs> I, it just got off at the boat, but. So we'll give, we'll give Richie the first official fish in the boat. That's cool. That is cool. Too slow on the trigger. Yeah, sorry. Didn't get it on video, but bring it in, bring it in. Shot him from the top now. Yeah, let's come down here so I can see it. Yeah. Oh nice. Look at you. Oh my gosh. Oh. Lower. There you go. What? Did 
y'all even spook the fish? No, we didn't spook him. There he is, DJ. Right here. DJ, third shot. Right there, right there. You people are disappointments. <laughs> All three of you shot at the same fish. <laughs> oh, glad I didn't have to take a shot. Yeah. I don't want to be the fourth miss. Yeah. You've missed plenty tonight. What? No. Yeah. There is zero misses on video for me. Oh, what are you well, talking about? It didn't happen. Yeah. Oh, there's a little under that one. Yeah. DJ, back up. <gasps> Got him! Woo! No, I don't really pull the string. Tracy got her first fish. <laughs> nice. Another sheep. <laughs> All right. We got a few fish in the box. Water's a little dingy. Tracy said she couldn't even see that fish when she shot. Somebody told her where it was at. Good job. Yeah. I just aimed in the water. I'm just going to start closing my eyes and shoot. <laughs> so what if it's late? Just show it. I got to oh. get the camera going before the shot. Listen, yeah. before I'm, the shot. I'm trying to fish too. So. Before the shot. Me too. Okay. I'm here. I got an upside down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Richie got him. Woo. <laughs> DJ missed. Y'all got a mess. <laughs> He's in the boat. That's all that matters. That's right. He is in the boat. Right there. Got it. Told you. Take a park. Alright, DJ got her first fish. No, don't lie to that. I got this. She got her first half a fish. Yeah. I landed it. Oh, it's a male. It's a boy. Oh, it's a boy. <laughs> Who's got the blue cigars? <laughs> Did you just gag? Uh, no! <laughs> oh my god. <gosh. laughs> Here. Hurry up, take a picture. He's smiling at you, babe. Okay. Are you happy now? Yep. I mean, I'm not done, but I'm happy. Get on the board. <laughs> <laughs> on the board. Uh, I got a towel like my hand up. Yay! I know. You? Yeah. It looked like it. It's not as big as that one, I don't think. Yeah, I got it. DJ the Stingray Slayer. Good job, good job. Too nice. <laughs> Oh, that one's pretty. Look at that. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, oh, it's much uglier on this side. <laughs> the white's pretty. Here comes Team Slackers. They probably hadn't been doing anything, just cruising around, picking their nose. <laughs> How many fish y'all got in the in the cooler? Oh yeah, good talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they all got serious real quick, didn't they? Oh, 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 right here. Hey. Hey, oh, okay. Oh, okay. You should come with us. Got to do exactly what the photographer oh, says. I got to hold it out like this so it looks bigger. Look at me. You were looking at him. Oh, I can't see you at all. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get another one real quick. Let's get another one real quick. And he just smiled. <laughs> no words. Where are they? You got to go here. Fishy, 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 fishy. Isn't that a cool looking fish? Like he ran into a wall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so call him look down. <laughs> look at that. That is cool. I didn't even put the arrow through him. Nope. <laughs> He's in the boat, it don't matter. <laughs> that is a really, really cool fish. I didn't get wet, did you? Yeah, that felt, that felt amazing. <laughs> that felt good. Did y'all get three fish? Four? Uh, I think we got three. We got a whole mess of them. What's that skinny one right there? Oh, y'all shot a mullet. Oh, yeah, we got, we got a hey, pound or two. Hey, I need one of those shirts. Look at that. Hey, as fast as them mullets are, I just seen it. <laughs> hey, Tracy <laughs> shot a fish with her eyes closed. Yeah. In the mud. In she the said, mud. I never even saw it. <laughs> We got quite a few sheep. I think we got five. Actually, common? <laughs> just, just the common fish like that? Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we didn't keep our catfish. Yeah, we didn't we keep don't. the cat. Oh, yeah. Well, we can throw that out. I'll put them up here. I like that one. And yeah, we did throw a stick right on back. me again. Yeah. Well, like I said, we weren't, it wasn't a competition, see. It was all for fun, see. I said earlier, I said, 
if it was a competition, <laughs> it's well, not. I'm not saying, you know, our captain just put us on more fish. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Let's not bring the captains in. Oh, man. Go ahead. Your captain just shot more fish. That's what it is. So my uh, freebie fillet knife is not working out the greatest. We're getting some fillets off of them. These uh, sheep's head are not near, the fillet's not near as thick as what I expected. I thought there was gonna be a big, thick, hearty piece of meat in there, but uh, I'm doing the best we can with a dull knife, so. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Cut a finger. You'd have to cut pretty hard with this knife to get into the the meat of it, so I think we'll be all right. PSA won't let you fly with shark knives. Good looking fish, though. Yep. This is what happens when you hang out with an older crowd. They fall asleep watching Ginger Billy. Apparently, we've decided to change plans. DJ is eating sushi. I thought we were eating fish. So we're not uh, doing sheep's head on the half shell. We're changing plans because sheep's head and a dull knife didn't turn out to be big giant fillets. So we're from Oklahoma. We're traveling with Oklahomans. And when you're from Oklahoma, you eat fried fish. So we're gonna fry sheep's head. And what do we have? Two um, flounder. Flounder, yeah. Yeah, two flounder. We're like six sheep's head and two flounder that we cut up with our dull fillet knife. And we're gonna fry some fish. Very dull. Starting off the right way with some Louisiana fish fry mix. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good, ooh, go away. You're doing a good job. We're, we're limited on our supplies, but we're going to make the best of a bad situation. This is called cooking with barrel. Apparently, I got a new nickname on this trip. <laughs> because a lady at a restaurant looked at my card and said, where's Daryl? So I've been Daryl all week. Hard to get any good help around here. Y'all just lounging? Yep. Mm-hmm. I see that. You need something? I thought y'all were cooking supper. No, it's a snack. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We have supper later. <laughs> All right, super fancy stuff here. You know, we're going straight fish fillets into the Louisiana fish fry mix. And then they're going to take a little bath in some hot grease. Not supposed to, you know, it's only supposed to be for the cooks that get the early sneak peek preview taste. Look at here. Yeah, Kane's a suck up. Yeah. That's what it is. It is what it is, right? We'll take well, it. I felt the drop. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of sprinkling. Sprinkling on It's hot. Oh, it looks good. Oh, look at there. Mitch brought you, you like some, some ketchup? special ketchup? sauce. Oh, Would you like some ketchup, ma'am? Yeah. Ketchup. Oh, oh that's going to ruin the taste. Oh, that's mm. good. That's really good. What is this? Fish. Fish. What, which one? <laughs> Sheep's head. Anybody that's else need good. any ketchup? Good. 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 You haven't got to the flounder yet. Mm -mm. You'll get some of the good okay. stuff later. Okay. If you're lucky. Oh, These guys crazy. keep eating all my fish faster than I can get it out of the oil. <laughs> I mean, 
Well, you fellas are some high class chefs right here. Putting craft shingle slices on frozen tater tots. Man. Give me one more in Cooking in style, huh? Yeah, you had got her to make them noises. You know what I mean? She just made when she tried that flounder. Yeah, it's good stuff, huh? Yeah, I don't like you making my wife make those noises, but it is good stuff. <laughs> Man, we are eating a real fancy Hi, snack today. Hi, class. Hi, class. This, this, this is what DJ requested. Tater tots with cheese and fried fish. She wasn't real gung ho over the over the uh, on the half shell idea. Hot. Oh. Maybe we should get some put on a plate. Gotta get some of that special Florida sauce to put on there. Yep. Oh, that's a lot of cheese on some tater tots. The cheese head. Why are you pulling them on? Because all I can see was your arm. Okay. You know, our cooktop won't exactly get quite hot enough, and our oven wouldn't get hot enough, but we're making we're the best. Like I'm not even going to say a bad situation. We're not making the best of a bad situation. Because we can do with what we have. Yeah. My fish keeps dwindling. I haven't got to make a plate yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I have not made a plate yet. Uh huh. Mitch, I mean, uh huh. Might have eaten a little you bit. You ate a whole plate, but you haven't made a plate. There you go. Hey, it's one for you, two for me. That's yeah. right. She's like, hey, are you headed home yet? I'm like, still never got to make a plate. You didn't? I never made a plate. No, everybody ate all the food while I was trying to cook. Oh well, I wouldn't have been eating it had I known. I ate. I was thinking to make a plate. Oh my god. So, sheep's head, mm -hmm. catch, clean, and cook, and. Um, Don't step on the cheese. I know, it just keeps distracting me. DJ's dropping cheese everywhere. Sorry. Sheep's head, catch, clean, and cook, plus the um, flounder. Mm -hmm. Flounder is right up your alley. Real thin, flaky, white fillets. I didn't show clean in the flounder. I'm not an expert when it comes to these saltwater fish, and cleaning the flounder is a little bit difficult when you don't have a very sharp knife. But we got it done. Yes, Wish so we had about exactly. eight more flounder. Those yep. were amazing. The sheep's head were good, mm -hmm. but not quite as good as the flounder because they're the flounders are just a flat, real thin fillet. That's super good. I think everybody approved mm -hmm. because the food was disappearing faster than I can get it out of the oil. Well, we haven't had lunch either. <sighs> no, not very long. Our kitchen situation not the greatest we didn't have all the right utensils our oil wouldn't get hot enough our oven wouldn't get hot enough but it's still good still good it was and amazing you're, and you're at the beach yep everybody 100 percent unanimously i love bow fishing yes we're not gonna say there was winners and losers even though jill keeps claiming there were more fish out on their boat yeah there's really not any true proof of that no uh -uh. one of our stingrays pushed out a bunch of babies and if you count all the babies it was pretty much even. I think so. <laughs> Man, look at that sunrise. This place is pretty awesome. Just a little uh, rental house that DJ found on VRBO. Went in with four couples and split. If you don't do uh, adult trips with no kids, I highly recommend it. It's much, much more relaxing. So I'm just up early, getting a time lapse of the sunrise. Enjoying a cup of coffee out here on the deck. This is... This place is pretty awesome. So we're in the Tampa Bay area, like Clearwater Beach, Bradenton Beach area. I don't know, it's all, DJ found this place. Just on a little island in Florida, basically. But come down here for the bow fishing trip and our adults trip. There's, like I said, there's four couples. We go in together, rent a house, and just hang out on the beach, 
eat a lot of good food, do some fishing, do something fun. We started doing adults trip. Adults only, I don't know, maybe five years ago, six years ago, something. We missed a couple years over during COVID and all of that stuff, but we love to travel with our kids. And we love to do stuff with our kids, but it's just something just relaxing in a total different way when it's just adults. And um, I know a lot of people are concerned, like, how do you, how do you leave so much? How do you guys travel with the farm and all the animals and everything? Well, during the summertime, it works out for us pretty well because DJ's sister, Katie, is, well, she's going to be 21 in a couple weeks, but she's in college right now. <clears throat> college kids are always looking for ways to make money in the summertime, so she stays at the house and takes care of the animals, takes care of the farm. And then this trip, she's, you know, watching Houston and Emily, so they're all three at the house. So we've got plenty of, plenty of people to take care of the animals, to, to run the farm while we're gone. And it's just a short trip. We're only here for like, we flew in on Saturday and fly out on a Wednesday. So it's been a lot of fun and um, it's just really good for the soul to get away, <sighs> turn off the world and relax. I haven't even opened a laptop since I've been here. We leave tomorrow at everything as far as the channel goes and YouTube and Facebook and all that stuff shot ahead of time, scheduled and done. <clears throat> I don't get many chances to go three or four or five days and not open a computer. It's been it's been relaxing. It's been good. So we'll get back home to that Oklahoma summer heat, back to the daily grind, and um, keep you guys in the loop on what's going on and everything. But anyways, if you get a chance, go check out Twisted Limbs Bow Fishing. They're, they've got a website, twistedlimbsbowfishing.com, I believe. Link in the description. They're on Facebook, Instagram, all the places. Listen, you don't have to be an expert with a bow. You don't even have to know anything about a bow. But they'll teach you. It is a blast. It's so much fun. These people that are with us had no idea they were even going bow fishing. That was something that DJ and I put together, booked, because we knew that Travis and Shannon were in this area. We'd been here before and bow fished with them. And got to eat some really good sheep's head flounder mm, we should have i wish we could have shot 50 of them but the problem is we couldn't get them home so we cleaned and cooked what we could had a nice fish fry instead of on the grill because we're from oklahoma and we like fried fish my wife loves 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 crappie and those flounder are real thin fillets man not hard i mean not easy to fillet with a dull knife I got it done, and she loved it. So, all is good. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my coffee and my sunrise and uh, wait on everybody else to wake up. So, guys, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day, and as always, we'll see you on the next video.